David Gibson. On this week of Get to Know the Athletes, I traveled to Burlington to get to know the Lady Lakers softball team. Let's see what they have to say. What do you think makes a good softball player? Um, a good softball player, I'd have to say dedication. Um, if you're coming out, if you're grinding every day, if you're putting in the work, um, the results are going to show on the field or in the batter's box or wherever it may be. I think being confident, knowing what you have to do with the ball every single play and kind of knowing your team makes a good softball player. And what's one skill you feel like you've improved on since you first started playing softball? Hitting. I think I've gotten more confident up at the plate with hitting and I think that's really important and shows growth as a player. I feel like I've really improved on my batting and I could I'm really good at getting up to the plate and just making stuff happen. <laughs> My leadership has definitely grown since the beginning and I know that comes with experience but um, as well as age I guess but um, yeah I mean our seniors have grown a lot throughout our six years in the program and we've got a lot of experience under our belt but continuing to grow as leaders has been a big piece of that. What do you do to get ready for a game? Um, to get ready for a game, we just always gotta do our hair, you know, get those bubbles and just kind of get in the right mentality. Uh, listen to music, kind of jam out with the girls, and we usually come a little bit early, set up and get a feel for the field, I guess, and the bus rides are also super fun to do that. Um, for me, it's... It's all about kind of getting in the zone, I guess, um, getting mentally prepared, thinking about what's going to come next, thinking about a pattern in my pitching, um, what I'm going to say to myself when I walk into the batter's box, different stuff like that. A random fact about you that people don't know. Um, Softball-wise, I guess something about me that people don't know is um, uh, the our assistant coach is actually my sister, and um, my grandpa has helped out over the years as well. He's a member of the North Dakota Softball Hall of Fame, so softball definitely runs in my blood. And so, yeah, I have a twin brother who was were born on different days, so. Um, I'm very clumsy and I don't know if you can tell when I play volleyball or even softball I trip a lot and it's kind of something I'm known for. Just kind of a random fact I guess. Uh, what's the coolest softball play you've been a part of? Um, the coolest play. I mean, there's definitely a rivalry between Bishop Bryan and I, or well, our team and Bishop Bryan. So um, two years ago in the sub-region championship, I was pulled in to pitch the last couple innings, and I had a kind of over-the-shoulder catch um, to win the game, and that was a great feeling. With the rivalry, I mean, it made it better, but um, even if it wasn't Ryan, it would have been a great feeling. I think like game would be getting to the state championship and just like being a part of that, but I can't think of a play. When you're going through adversity in games or practice, you know, what inspires you to keep going or who? Um, just my teammates really inspire me to keep going. Like if I can't, if I don't feel like doing it for myself, I'll do it for them. Um, my sister, for sure. Um, having her as a coach is a great addition, but even if she wasn't a coach, she would definitely be someone that I could turn to. Um, She's been a big advisor in pitching as she was also a pitcher. So I continuously look to her for advice and guidance and um, I know that she's going to be able to calm me down in stressful situations and get me thinking clearly again. Coach always has the right thing to say at the right time and like no matter what we're going through she knows the solution for it. She's a really experienced in the game of softball and I think that's really important to have. Favorite post game meal or snack? Oh, I if it's a home game, I like to head over to Hacienda and kind of pig out over there, but yeah. <laughs> um, I always like a sandwich after a game and then a Gatorade. Which teammate would you give the keys to your car to without hesitation? <sighs> There'd probably be hesitation for all of them, but um, I'd say Lainey Wahoos. I don't know. I think we just, we've really developed a great relationship this year, and um, I've... She's gained a lot of my respect as a as an underclassman and uh, as another catcher. We've just we just gained a lot of trust in each other, and so yeah, I think she'd be able to handle it. Thank you, Mackenzie, Brooklyn, and Addison for your great answers. Good luck on this season. We'll have more after the whistle after the break.